what's up it's a girl be welcome back to my youtube channel ipni here i'm about 77 and today's video i will be showing you guys 12 different survival mods that i think are just like very cool to just have in survival in general like i think these are some of the best mods you can have for a survival world i would say there's a lot more but i thought i would just pick a couple and there was a lot so i picked 12 but anyway let's get into it the first mod we have as you can see in the corner we have the journey map mod and the journey map mod is for both forge and fabric and it is used to map out your minecraft world in real time as you explore it and you can put waypoints down and be creative with it now one thing i will say is that the keybinds in this video are a little different because i just switched them up so if you want to see the actual keybinds, I'm pretty sure uh, the journey uh, the journey map mod page does say what it is, but I set mine to M. So basically right here, if I wanted to, I just teleport because I have cheats on, but in normal survival, it won't say that. You can create a waypoint, a temporary waypoint, show all, hide all. You also have all these different options out here, so day and then night instead. So you can switch to that. You can put biome, topography, did I say topography? Topography. You got cave layers and then show caves so you have all these different kinds of you know settings you can do and you can even switch the ui themes if you want to get more like classic minecraft look i would say go with this one but uh yeah here let's uh i think that's pretty much it for this one and then you can save the map apparently i did not know that uh, but yeah no you can put waypoints down you can customize the waypoint so let's say i want to put a waypoint down great waypoint let's just call it uh, example i did not spell that right example there we go and you can switch the color just by dra holding down your left click and just moving it around so let's say i want to put it as a nice like bright green or a bright yellow or red uh let's put it as like a light blue this is the location of where it is you can even put random color you can put enabled and then you save it and then it has example and then uh, if i just where is it right there as you can see it's right there it tells you how far away you are from it so if i go fly over here real quick i am now 47 meters away as i get closer it'll switch over so now i'm 20 meters away and yeah and then you can also get rid of it or hide it you can either disable it remove it or edit it uh, i'm gonna remove it because i don't need it <laughs> that's just for an example but yeah now that is the journey map mod very simple mod also in the corner right under the map you can see it says what biome i'm in and it says my coordinates uh, which i think is pretty cool as well and yeah that is the journey map mod i just think it's a really kind of cool mod just to add and it makes survival a little, you know, much better uh, the next mod that i have picked out is the traveler's backpack mod which is also for forge and fabric so really quickly we're going to grab a backpack that's not a backpack this is a backpack so we have the standard traveler's backpack which uh if i just put it on like that as you can see i have a nice little backpack on and now the traveler's backpack mod is a mod that allows you to uh you know create a backpack of course and to carry all your stuff in it of course i mean it is a backpack and you can upgrade this backpack to have different abilities for example, the Blaze Packpack, which gives you immunity to fall damage and fireball damage, which I think is pretty cool. Now, if I click, uh, is it E? No, it's not E. It's B, I think. Nope. B is something else. Okay, I think I need to switch more keybinds. <laughs> I put many mods in here. All the keybinds are, like, switched up. There we go. I had to rebind something else. But if you press B, as it should be, uh, you'll have this huge backpack here where you have lots of space. You'll have a little crafting uh, area that you can do here. You have these little extra slots, which I think go on the side. And you can put either water or lava on little tubes on the side. If you look, there's like some tubes on the side where you can put uh, water. And I'm pretty sure if I crouch and... Oh, no. I think if... I, how do I... I think I need to take it off. Uh, just take it off like this. And then I think I need to crouch to place it down. There we go. You can click on it. Oh, that's picking it back up. You can click on it. And if it's nighttime, you have a sleeping bag that you can just add to it. And obviously it's not nighttime, so it's not going to work. But if you're out traveling and you don't have a, uh, like a bed with you, you can just take out your backpack. You can put it on the floor, like this little sleeping bag, and then you have a little sleeping bag. Uh, all right. And then, like I said before, there's a blaze backpack, which right here, there's a bunch of different backpacks, as you can see. And the Blaze one is the one I chose for my example because I thought it was cool. So Blaze, Traveler's Backpack, Immunity to Fall Damage, and Small Fireball sent by Blaze. Which I think is pretty cool and all these backpacks have different abilities to them, which is awesome. And you can just carry stuff in it really quickly. Let's set the time today. I did not mean to press that. There we go. Uh, Alright, and now, after this mod, I am reading off a notebook, by the way, because I want to make these videos 
bit more organized. Uh, we have the tool stats mod, which is fairly simple, if you can tell. Uh, let me quickly take this backpack off. I forgot to take the backpack off. Uh, oh, wait. No, I just do that. Is it still on, though? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, next up, we have the tool stats mod, like I said. Very simple mod. I'm assuming you can guess what it says. But uh, as you can see here, I do have texture pack on, by the way. That The wooden sword did not get an update. This is a texture pack. Uh, but as you can see, we have uh, these these tool tips, right? And I'm pretty sure it does it for armor as well. I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, it says the attack damage, the attack speed, the harvest level, the digging speed. And it has it for all the different kinds of weapons and tools. And the next one has to be one of my favorites, which is the visual workbench mod. Now, if I quickly grab a crafting table that I spelled wrong, crafting table, there we go. Uh, let's just put this down. Let me also put that. Let's say I want to craft a diamond sword or a diamond pickaxe, right? I'll grab some sticks, even though I spelled it wrong. Grab some sticks, right? I grab some diamonds. Just like that. And then let's say, let's say you were crafting the diamond pickaxe, but you forgot to grab the diamonds. You leave it there. You can see the sticks on the workbench and it goes in whatever direction you're looking in. You can see them on top of the workbench and they stay there. So when you go back and you have your diamonds, you can just do that and then bam, you have it. And you can also just leave everything there. Like you don't even need to craft it like that. Just leave it like that. And then as you can see right there, it also puts what you're crafting on top, which I think is very cool. I don't need the diamond pickaxes. I just want to show an example. But yeah, no, this is a very fairly simple mod, uh, but it just adds a lot more to Minecraft. And then you don't have to worry about leaving the crafting table and all your items just spilling out everywhere. Uh, because that is pretty annoying if I do say so myself. And the next mod, as you can see by my surroundings, is the Oh, the Biomes You'll Go mod, which by the way, the visual workbench mod is also for Forge and Fabric. And I'm not sure if I said this for Tool Stats, but Tool Stats is also for Forge and Fabric. If I just look here really quickly, yep, Forge and Fabric. And Oh, the Biomes You'll Go is also for Forge and Fabric. And this mod allows you to, uh, you know, explore the new biomes. There's 80 new biomes uh, that, that it adds to the game, which is great for exploration. So if you're someone who likes to explore a lot in your survival world, this is a great mod for you. And with all these new biomes comes plenty of new blocks, plants, and wood types, which I think is amazing. As you can see, I'm in one of these biomes right now. You can see on the side, right under the Journey Maps mod, uh, the little map in the corner it says Borelis Grove. So I guess that's the biome I'm in right now, which is a custom mod. Uh, so let's just go here and you can see all the different items it adds. And also one thing I do want to go over is that it adds a biomopedia. So it tells you everything. So you can look at the blocks and items, the biomes. We have, ooh, these are actually some very cool biomes. So it has a book of all the different biomes. And this is actually the one I'm in right now, which is pretty cool. And if you click on it, it actually says what it is. Which I think is kind of cool, honestly. And then, uh, all right, and the next one that I have here written down, if I just take a look, is the nameplate mod. This mod is only for fabric, sadly, uh, but it's a it's a very simple mod, like something like the other ones. Uh, so basically, let's say let's grab like spawn egg, like a cow spawn egg or something. Uh, let me also switch this back here. Fairly simple mod. You place it down. Says level one cow. If you name the cow, like if I get a name tag really quickly, uh, let's see, let's name here. Let me get an anvil as well. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to name this cow. You know what? I'll just name it example because this is an example. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. Let's just do sample like that, right? If I name the cow, cow come back, it should switch to example. And it says what level it is. Honestly, not quite sure what that means, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. And then, uh, yeah, you know, it just says example above and little nameplates. Just a nice little detail to add so you know what you're looking at. Uh, like if you have other mods in and you're looking at like some weird monster or something like that, you can know what it is and maybe do some research on it before you go try and kill it and before it kills you, uh, preferably, obviously. Uh, okay, well, the next one is Fabric Seasons. And Fabric Seasons, obviously, as you can tell by the title, is a seasonal mod. And it is also for fabric only, but there is another mod that's very similar to this that is for Forge called Serene Seasons. So if you want to download this Forge, it's not the same mod, but they're very, very similar. So if you want like a, you know, Seasons kind of mod, Forge Serene Seasons is also a good one. 
uh, but fabric seasons add different seasons to the game. So while you're playing, it could be spring, summer, fall, or winter, and the seeds can grow faster or slower during these seasons. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just look up here. Let's look up seeds. We have plenty of different kinds of seeds. Wheat seeds, if I click left ship, it says, it says right here that in spring, it grows at 100% speed. In summer, it grows at 80% speed. In fall, it grows at 60% speed. And in winter, it doesn't grow at all. So if I go to pumpkin seeds, is it any different? That's not different. Uh, is this different? Nope, that's not different. Yeah, so most of the seeds are kind of the same. Uh, but yeah, no, just add seasons, and it could be like snowing in your world. Like even if you're not in a snowy biome, it could be snowing. And uh, yeah, and the grass changes color. This is one of the mods that is actually in medieval Minecraft. Have you ever seen that series? And at one point, it did become winter, and the grass looked kind of weird, and it got very icy. And then at one point, the grass kind of looked like poop. I don't remember what season that was. I actually don't know what season it was at all. Um. <laughs> But yeah, no, it changes all the seasons, and I think it's very cool. Just adds a little more to Minecraft. And the next mod, which is also another simple mod that is for Forge and Fabric, is the Jade mod. And the Jade mod is an information HUD mod that adds information of whatever block or mob that you're looking at on the top of your screen, which you could see with the cow. And I can show you right now, so I'm looking at this block, it says Pete, and it says uh, what mod it is from. Look at this flower, it says Poppy, and it says Minecraft. Where's the cow? Cow, where'd you go? Where's example? Hello, example. Oh, wait, no, this is a different cow. Oh, I missed a spawn this one before. And as you can see, the cow, it shows, oh, wait, where's example? I heard example somewhere. Oh, here's example. There we go. It shows how many hearts example here has. And, uh, well, I mean, his name is example right now. So it says example at the top, but if you look right here, just says cow at the top. It shows how many hearts you have. And when you're breaking blocks, if I quickly go into survival real quick. As you can see, when I start blanking blocks, you can see like a little kind of a uh, bar there where like it'll show how fast you're breaking and it shows what tool you need. Uh, all right, let's look at the next mod, which actually could require us to be in uh, survival. But let me quickly get back into creative mode so that I can grab something. And let's just grab some steak. Let's grab like a stack of it. And the next mod that we have on the list is called Apple Skin, which is also for forge and fabric. And Apple Skin adds food value info and two tips uh, and a little visualization, you know, to your food. So like, for example, I'm holding some steak right here. And if I just hover over it, it says how many bars of hunger it'll fill and how much saturation it'll fill. And if I quickly go into, uh, that's not how you do it. Game mode survival, right? You can see my hunger bar right there. Let's just run around a bit, have it go down. As you see, my saturation will probably go down first before my hunger goes down. And then in the back of it, it's very hard to see because it's a little dark, but these little like gray dots showing how much until the saturation runs out. And then if we just keep on going like this, just for a little bit, it also adds a visualization of health restored. So like if you're holding a steak and you're missing a bunch of hearts, so you go to eat, it'll show you how many hearts you will fill. So let's take some damage really quickly. And yep, yeah, like that. And then as you can see, my saturation did go down a little faster. Uh, but here, let's take a little bit more damage. Just like this. And uh, there we go. And now if I hold the steak, you can see it kind of flashes and showing you what it's going to fill up. So if I eat a steak, it'll fill that up and my heart's regen to that. And yeah, so it's fair. Simple but effective mod. Uh, and uh, the next mod, actually, I need to go and start with this one too, but let's grab a water bottle. Uh, basically, this is the dehydration mod, which you could kind of see before when I was in survival. But basically, this adds a thirst bar so that instead of just having to get food, you have to drink water as well. And the best way to get water is by getting purified water, which I will show you how to do in just one second. So let's get that. Let's quickly go into survival. I did not spell that right. There we go. So there are many different ways you can get purified water. Did I just, I don't remember grabbing that dirt, but there's many different ways to get uh, water or purified water in survival. Uh, one way is to get a campfire cauldron, which I have right here, which basically once you place water in this campfire cauldron, it'll heat up and it'll allow you to get purified water. So after it heats up for like, I don't know, 30 seconds maybe, you can get it and it'll be purified water. Uh, another way is also using a bamboo pump, which I have right here. I'll show all this stuff off first. And the copper cauldron can hold purified water. So put that down. The campfire cauldron down, if it lets me. I think I need to put a campfire. There we go. So you just put it on top of a campfire like that. I put a water bucket in there, just like that. And now I have an empty bucket, which I put on the bamboo pump. 
And I, oh wait, no, not a crouch. Crouch is to take the bucket off. Just do this. And then you have one bucket of purified water and a copper cauldron can hold purified water. And then if I just wait a second, Oh, wait, nope, it, did, it didn't work. Yeah, okay, I gotta give it a couple seconds. Uh, all right, we also have these extra water buckets. I don't know why I grabbed so many. I only needed one. Uh, but let's just... I think I need to grab it with bottles, do I? And bam, there we go, purified water. So now if I drink the purified water, as you can see, the apple skin mod, I think, also works with this because you can see how it shows how much water it'll refill. And like that, so it won't take as long for you to dehydrate with purified water. If you just drink normal water, it'll take much longer. Uh, so purified water is the way to... Go. The next mod on my list that I have right here is the combat roll, which I'm gonna need to go in survival for. Actually, I can stay in creative. Uh, and the combat roll mod, although it doesn't sound like a lot, it is a very kind of complicated mod. So I'm gonna read off what I have kind of written down here. So basically, the combat roll mod is for forge and fabric. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but dehydration is only for fabric. But the combat roll mod is for both forge and fabric. And combat roll adds a simple combat roll into your game. You can also add different enchantments on various pieces of armor. So I'm going to read that list that I made. Uh, so you can add multi roll onto your helmet and gain one extra roll for each enchant level. So like, you know, books have different levels. So like if you have a multi roll one, it'll uh, give, you know, one extra roll. If you have multi roll three, you'll have three extra rolls. You know what I mean? The next one is Acrobat, which can be put on a chest plate or leggings, which increases the range, the recharge speed, sorry, uh, of the roll cooldown. So instead of taking like five seconds to recharge, it'll take like two seconds. That's not accurate. I'm just giving an example. And the last one is a long footed, which can be put on boots, which increases the distance of your rolls. So really quickly, I do want to like, like enchant some armor just to see. So this is the normal roll and I have it set to keep on X. Nice little roll. You go pretty far, actually. And then I'm in survival, so I can't see how much it takes. There we go. Uh, I'm in creative. Sorry, not survival. Uh, all right. So let's go grab these enchantment books. But uh, as you can see here, if I go into survival really quickly, game mode, survival. As you can see, I have four more rolls, and let's see how this works. Ready? Bam, bam, bam. Oh, God. And as you can see, they regenerate so much faster. Let's see how much longer this roll is. Yeah, it's much longer. You can, as you can see, it's like recharging super fast. So let me go like right here or something. And then just boop, 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 boop. Boop. It recharges very, very quickly now instead of just the normal one. If I take off all this armor, as you can see, I have one roll and I don't go as fast. So when I put on the armor, it gets a lot now better. The last mod, a very, very simple mod that I think everyone needs is the Falling Tree mod. It can speak for itself. It is for forge and fabric and Falling Tree is a simple mod that will allow you to break the bottom of a tree and the rest of it will come down, which makes it much easier to collect wood however the bigger the tree the harder it will be to cut down so if it's like a dark oak tree you'll have to cut off a few more pieces before the whole thing comes down so now if i just there we go and all the wood comes out i'm pretty sure there's another mod that works with this that allows all the leaves to disappear if i'm not mistaken uh but i didn't get that one so if you want to look for that one that's cool although the leaves are disappearing a lot faster than they normally do i'll be honest no, I hope you guys enjoy this video's quick little simple video of just showing off some mods, at least mods that I think are very cool and that you should add to your Minecraft uh, survival world. And yeah, if you play survival a lot, I'd recommend downloading all of these because all of these are just very cool and useful in one way or another. Even if it's simple, like the Jade mod, which tells you at the top uh, what the block is, what mod it's a part of, whatever. It's very simple, and it even tells you what tool you need to break it. I'm not in survival, so it won't tell me because, you know, I can just break it like that but it tells you what tool you need to break it, and it tells you how long it's going to take you to break it, which I think is very useful. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash like button and comment down below if I should check out any more mods and go over them in a video, because I'm thinking about doing a couple more mod videos. These videos are very fun uh, to do, and I like downloading all these mods and just playing around with them for myself. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to be subscribed to the channel, I want to do hit the notification bell and click all. So you I post a video on the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.